Hello guys, this is Anuj and today I will be telling you how to host your uh, Flowwise on other platforms like uh, Hugging Face. So I will be demonstrating with Hugging Face today and if it doesn't work out for you, you can comment me because I have been using Render and it's, it's giving me a lot of problems until I buy their storage. Okay, so I will be using Hugging Face today because in Render what's happening is even though my Flowwise is active, it's a... Uh, it's uh, getting uh, turned down always and all my chat flows are being vanished from there. So today we will be using Hugging Face to solve this problem. And even though I have not been using Flowwise uh, recently, but let's see, it's based on you. If you try using it in Hugging Face, uh, following the procedure with what I am telling here, then just let me know how it worked out. Okay. So first, let's go to, uh, let's see how this uh, Flowwise used to work here. So npx Flowwise start. And if you write that, and then you can simply go to your browser and say localhost 3000. So then this thing opens up. Okay, so as you could see, I have all my chat flows here. Now what I will simply need to do is, I will just uh, go to my same browser only. So today, whatever I will be telling will be based on the Flowwise documentation itself. So I will say Flowwise deployment in the browser. Just go up here and select deployment. Now from here, I have tried C, C loss and Hugging Face, but I am more, I trust Hugging Face more because I have been uh, using Hugging Face to get open source model sets are most trusted. And other than that, I used to use render, but I already told you what's the problem with them. So in hugging face, all you need to do is to first you need to have a hugging face account. Okay, so simply go to hugging face. And just make a account there. It's, it's a simple sign up thing. You will be easily be able to do that. Now simply go to spaces. Okay, that's what they tell. And all you need to do is to you need to create a new space okay now i will just say uh, here flow, flow wise demo okay say flow wise demo uh, leave the license as it is and uh, all you need to do is uh, to select docker as uh, space sdk so simple you select docker as space sdk Keep it blank. Okay, choose blank and choose this CPU hardware. So as you could see, it gives you a 16 GB CPU hardware for free. Okay, now keep it public or private as per you and click on create space. Now after that, all you need to go go see. All you need to do is to go to this app. Make sure you are in this app thing and. Uh, After creating the space, you just need to go to the settings of your new space. Okay, so I will go back to files here. Apps here. Uh -huh. So if you go to this files, you will be able to see the settings. And uh, what they have asked you to do is to find your uh, find a new, your new space. Okay, so it should say variables and secret sections. If I go down, you will say a variables and secret. So I will just say add a new variable and say uh, port and the value will be 7860. Okay, so port all caps it is the value it is 7860. Just put that and click on save. So as you could see this comes up here and after that you need to click on save the next steps are optional now all i need to do is to go to the file section and create a new docker file okay so i will go to this file section and i will add, uh, click on add a file and i will say create a uh, new file okay now i will i need to call this file docker file in the same manner as given here okay now I need to, uh, I need to copy this complete thing and paste it here. 
okay so that's all and uh, all you need to do is to click commit on main so after this commit to main you will be able to see that your app has started to build now it will take some time it will definitely take up till 30 minutes 20 minutes it will take and it will be built okay now uh, to demonstrate how it will look i will just show you i've already made some uh, spaces here so if i click on my profile and uh, check on my so i will just you will be able to see like i have this flowwise new which is running so this is how it looks and after the build you will be able to see uh, the this is how it looks and how to bring your uh, chat flows from your local to uh, from your local uh, pc to this chat uh, to this flow wise just simply need to go here and let's say i want this uh, pdf this will be easier for me to demonstrate now just uh, export click on export chat flow okay now all you need to do is to go to this uh, uh, flowwise which is hosted on your hugging face and click on load chat flow and just click this let me just take this one okay so this is the chat flow i will just uh, put the uh, gemini credentials here so hey guys as you could see i have uh, inserted my gemini credentials here now I, I instead of uh, using the csv file retrieval today i will be using this web scraper here so i will just drag and drop it here and just remove my text splitter connection from here and map it here and uh, i will just remove this document uh, connection from here and i will map it here okay so I will just remove this aside and bring this one up. Okay. So now in the URL, I will be giving this uh, documentation, which I will be copying from here and pasting it here. Okay. And uh, let's see if I have to make any changes. Had I uh, passed any additional parameters here? Okay, so this is all good. And uh, we can, all you need to do is to save this chat flow first. Uh, I will say a uh, web scraper. Okay, save. And now you can simply uh, absurd the link which you have a store which you have given here now it, it it will take some time hey guys so after inserting the document uh, you will uh, it will be better if you click the save icon once more now i will tell you how this works i've already tested it so what i did in the web scraper i put this link on, i have uh, given this link only for the hugging face deployment documentation so let's see whether it uh, responds or not as you could see it completely responds but i will show one demo here as well how to set uh, in set environment variables So it will scrape it from there. So as you could see, it's responding pretty good. And now the best part is you could use it as an API from here without worrying about the uh, link being connected to your local system. Now it will be very ready. Uh, you know, it will be easily available to your other applications working on different devices. Now one more thing which I would like to point out: if this uh, hugging face space will spin down if you are if this is not active. Okay, if you're actively, it is being used and it will not spin down and uh, all your chat flows will be there. Unlike what was happening in the render while deploying this in render. Okay, so I hope this video helped and I wish you all the luck. Thank you.